Is there a danger with Newcastle there might be a bit of second season syndrome? I think there clearly is because they overachieved beyond, I think, what anyone at the club expected and what anyone else expected last season. And now you've got the added pressure of playing in four tournaments and you have to wonder if that's going to going to have a toll on them. And, and there's lots of individual players there who had such fantastic seasons. Demba Barr, who we don't know if he's necessarily capable of staying fit for two entire seasons in a row. Certainly the impression went when other clubs were passing him up was that that would be a problem. Um, and you've got uh, the Africa Cup of Nations again, which is going to take those same players uh, away in the middle of the season. So I think there's certainly a danger of it. That doesn't mean to say it'll definitely happen, but it's, it's, a, it's a significant concern for them this year. Is there any reason why they wouldn't just kind of carry on as they were last season? Not a lot has changed in terms of the squad and, and Alan Pardew presumably is, is intent on, on motivating them in the same way. I mean, there was such a freshness and a boldness about the way they played. Yeah, but I think there's maybe an element to which that catches people by surprise as well. And it was sort of strange last season. They had a couple of games where, uh, a couple of games against the big teams where they really played fantastically. That game against Chelsea uh, at Stamford Bridge towards the end of the season, you think about with Cissé's ridiculous goal but there was also a couple of times uh, like when they like the game against Tottenham when actually they seemed to get caught a little bit cold and, and, and looked like well actually there's still some rawness here there's still some things uh, to be exposed and, and yes what you're wondering now is the, the offset between well we've played together a bit more and, and we understand each other better but also now other teams know what's coming for them it's no one's going to be caught off guard by, by Hatem Benaf or Papi Cisse these are players who we know exactly how good they can be and therefore teams will plan for them more. And, and also, because uh, it kept changing as well with Newcastle last season, I think that's also important to note is it's not just like they had one system that went through the whole, whole season because at the beginning it was Denver Bar and then when Cissé came in, you moved him out left and these are, they, they constantly had other teams reacting to them and, and you've lost that element of surprise. But, uh, but yes, if they, certainly if they get to the end of this transfer window with all the players they have, I think there's every reason to believe that they can do very well again because these are very good players. Did the season that they had last year probably kind of put an end to the discontent about Mike Ashley and to an extent Alan Pardew and how significant might that be that there's perhaps a little bit less um, bad feeling? It's a, it's a great question, isn't it? I'm not sure I or you could answer it as well as, as some people at St James's Park could. And I think that's... Uh, one for the fans who only they're going to know really how they feel about Ashley and, and Alan Pardew now. Because yes, they were hugely unpopular people uh, at the, around the club at, at the time when they came in. But success has a way of, of changing people's minds. But I also suspect with, with all these things that when you've, when you've had a, that sort of tension, um, it doesn't necessarily take too much to start bringing back some of the ill feeling that was there before. So I think that at the moment things are, are happy and if they had another great season then perhaps that would that would go away entirely, but maybe it's still a bit too recent to, to believe that it's gone completely. Is the squad strong enough to cope with that sort of dual challenge of trying to sustain um, a strong Premier League challenge and also going for the Euro I European competition? That's clearly the big question, and it'll be interesting to see how Pardew approaches that. Obviously, you had um, Harry Redknapp at Tottenham. His, his attitude was always to quite vocally talk down the Europa League and say, well, we're not taking it too seriously. And I think that probably... That wouldn't go down too well at Newcastle. I, I, I suspect that, particularly in the fan base there, I, I don't think that's a, a mentality that they'd appreciate. I think they're, they're really excited about being back in Europe and having these opportunities. But that is, it does then become a much more challenging season. The Europa League is a huge competition that has far too many games in it. You throw in the fact that players are going to be going away, important players, the Cup of Nations in the middle of it, and that is a toll. That is something that is a a challenge for them to deal with and at the moment while they haven't lost players they haven't really significantly bolstered the squad either so that's that is a question and I, I think I would be surprised if we don't see some dip in the league form because of it but I don't think it's going to be dramatic I don't think we're going to see them suddenly uh, back down in the bottom half of the table but I think it would be hard for them to get as close to the Champions League as they did this season if they take the Europa League seriously which I, I think they probably will.